Welcome to a video on the digital lifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to look at the latest in Sonos's uh, sound system lineup, the Sonos Play Bar. Now, if you're used to Sonos, you see it's the speaker, built in speaker, amplifier system with software. This is the latest one, the Sonos Play Bar, and you can see it's quite a big unit designed to sit with your TV as a sort of surround sound, uh, home theatre experience, but an all in one unit. So it's got two functions it's a system for the TV. And it's also um, a system that plays with Sonos, so you can use a Sonos controller on your iPhone, and app, Android app or whatever, and control it. So first I'm going to plug it in, I'm going to give it a try with my Apple TV through the optical output port. So we get included in the box is, um, a network lead, but also optical cable. So I'm going to plug that into here, and then we'll test some uh, playback. So now I've got it powered up, I'm going to actually pair it with my Sonos Bridge, so that's the first thing you do to pick its part system, and then we can control it through the app. So I've just uh, connected the uh, play bar up, just uh, pairing it with the wireless bridge now. So I'm now I'm going through the setup of it. Um, I'm not, it's asking me if I want to add a sub, if I had a sub. I reviewed one of those in a previous video, but not now. And we're not going to add any play threes, because you could have a surround sound, so you could have the, the play bar at the uh, sort of front of your TV and you can have play threes behind you as rear speakers but I'm not going to do that I think we're ready to go now I've connected the optical cable up from my Apple TV you really should do it from your TV I guess but in this case Apple TV okay so let's fire something through to the play bar so we can even tell the play bar to control the um, by being controlled by the TV's remote, so we can uh, use the IR and it's going to detect the IR from the TV and it's going to control the sound uh, volume level of the play with this. Okay, so I've now got sound going through my TV. Um, what I'm going to do here on the uh, Sonos app, I'm going to introduce the play bar and. As you can hear, it's a fantastic sound. It's very difficult for me to even to talk over it. So I've got to, let's just give it a little bit of volume. It's absolutely beautiful and clear, with a great deal of depth, of depth as well. I feel it sort of going through the desk and into the, into the floor there. It's a lovely sound, really nice. It's got plenty of volume on it as well, as you can, as you can see. And if I go right over there, it's very loud. So, the other things I can do with this, of course, is I can select some music. So now I've got the play bar set up and connected up. I just wanted to show some other stuff we can do. So you saw before we were working with the Apple TV, um, but what I've done here is I can go to my music library, pick a song, play that, so it'll now change from using the Apple TV, or it could be any HDMI, so that could just be your normal TV, the HDMI cable out of your TV. And it's going to start playing your Sonos music. And I've got to say, it's got a lovely sound. So that's turn the music off, or turn the TV off, and we've now got on the music from the library. So now from here I've got TV selected. I can say okay, I've actually I've had enough of that. I can go to my music library and pick some music. So I can play that. So it's saying this is going to stop playback in the living room. Yes, that's fine with that switch that over. So now that's actually going to play the switch the audio from the video that's coming from the Apple TV uh, to music from my Sonos collection downstairs. I really enjoy listening to this one, this volume. <laughs> Sounds great. So I've got all the usual Sonos features. But I could say okay I'm going to change, I can play something from this iPad, 
Or I'm going to say, no, I want to go back to the TV. <laughs> so it switches over. So you've got that complete control over your home audio system uh, through your TV, whatever is coming through your TV or through your audio on Sonos, all through um, your Sonos controller. In this case, I'm using an iPad, it could be the Windows. Let's just pause it. So in this case, I'm using an iPad, but it could be the Windows software, it could be the um, Android app, or whatever app you have. So to kind of just wrap this up, it's an excellent system, an excellent sound. The nice thing is you can choose between your TV or the Sonos Audio. Uh, so you just take an optical cable out of your TV or your receiver or whatever optical output you want, like Apple TV, anything. Use it as your, for your normal TV system and then switch it straight to music. It's a really nice way of playing. Of course the other thing you can do is set up Sonos 3s as rear speakers. Just set up a sub and you've got 5.1 surround sound. Yes, it's going to cost you, but you're going to get a fantastic sound. With It's got a beautiful sound, it looks great as well, you can just mount it on your TV. It's got, I'm trying to show this, it's got the mounting clips on there, so you could put uh, brackets, hang that on your wall. Stand it up like that. It's a fantastic sound. So thanks for watching this video, price and all the details in the show notes.